Alrighty, now that we have the bulk of our character actually set up, what I want to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and remove the delay just so we can always spawn with the firearm. I want to make it so we can aim with it. So pretty much when I right click, I just want to be able to aim down the optic or whatever sight that I'm using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new input. This one's going to be for the right mouse button. And using the shooter pawn component, we're going to simply search for start aiming as well as we have a stop aiming. We're going to use these two. Simply plug them in. And now we can aim with all of the procedurals. So simple enough. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start moving this stuff over to its own event graph. And that's going to keep things a lot cleaner. So I want to keep these inside the, I guess, locomotion kind of stuff. So we have, yeah, we'll just call this locomotion. So we're going to create a new graph, call it locomotion and grab all of this that came with it and just throw it in. Then in the event graph, we're going to leave begin play as it is. But inside of here, we're going to do another one, and I'm going to call this one, uh, let's do, not tutorial, we'll do firearm. So this will be everything related to working with firearms. So in this case, we want to do our backspace that we drop, we want to do our aiming, and we want to do our linking. So inside of firearm, we're going to go ahead and paste. And set them like so. So I want to start commenting. Next, I'll do the commenting off screen. But that's just so we have things cleaned up. So I want to go ahead and comment these. And we'll be back in the next video doing something else.